Laurie's daughter Kristen and brother Joe are convinced Laurie Merritt was murdered, killed in a fire they say someone intentionally set. Kristen and Joe have deep suspicions about Laurie's ex, Paul Kasikowski, and they refuse to remain quiet. He was just so obsessed with her. Joe alleges Paul's obsession turned to furious rage when he saw flirtatious pictures from other men on Laurie's phone. One of them sent that very night. And half an hour before she died, she sent him a cartoon of he can't wait to see her with a cartoon picture on it. And whoever was there, whether it be Paul or somebody else, saw that picture. And I think that's what started the fight. But was that fight with Paul Kasikowski? Ever since that horrible night in April of 2014, Joe and Kristen say they haven't heard one word from Laurie's ex of 17 years. So we reached out to Paul to clear the air. Our goal is to get his side of the story and to figure out what happened here, to try to hopefully give Laurie's family some answers. Hey, Paul. Hi, I'm Michelle Sagona from Crime Watch Daily. How are you? Good. I'm coming out today and we're working on Laurie's story. Okay. We're trying to figure out what happened inside of her house that night. Who do you think could have done something like this to her? I, I think the victim of the fire, okay, was the person who lit the fire. You do? I do. Why do you think? Do you think she committed suicide? Or do you think it was an accident of some sort? I hope it was an accident. Did you have anything to do with her death? Absolutely not. Nothing at Absolutely all? Absolutely not. I told the investigators that. They gave me a, uh, a voice polygraph, okay? They did? Yes. Did you pass it? I, I don't know. I didn't have rest. But you did submit I had no to fear. a polygraph. Right. And I you had, did submit I had to no their fear questions. of it whatsoever. Tell me, when was the last time investigators called you? The day after the fire. The day after. That was the last time? Yeah. It's been so long. Yeah. As for that night, you did not go to the house at all. It's not at the house. I even wasn't after even the, in the neighborhood. You weren't even in the neighborhood. After telling me he is completely innocent, Paul Kasikowski hit me with a shocking claim. Kasikowski told me Laurie wasn't upset with him, but she was livid with her own daughter, Kristen. Was she uh, upset about anything? Oh, she was very upset over her daughter. She was very upset over her daughter, not, you know. What's wrong with her daughter? Uh, well, she left a note for her, she told me. And uh, she said, I left her a note, and she did not do a damn thing I asked her to do. Not nothing. She said, that kid doesn't help me. She does absolutely nothing for me. And those notes Paul left for Kristen to find, there's a reason for those. You did text her daughter and say, yes. I left notes in the house. Yes. Why did you do that? Because Lori was telling the daughter the direct opposite. Lori was saying that the relationship was over, but in reality it wasn't. Did you know Lori was dating someone else or seeing someone else? Uh -uh. You didn't know. I, I heard that she was, you know, hitting the bar scene and seeing somebody and, you know, the, the uh, brother-in-law told me like, oh, stay away from Lori, you know, she's, she's been with somebody else now. It didn't matter, I love Lori very much. Do you still love her? Do you miss Absolutely. her? Absolutely, I miss her every single day. This was tragedy for you as well? You, you have no idea. So why has he cut off contact? Paul says he's gone out of his way to avoid the family drama. Talk to me about the funeral. Did you go to the funeral? No, I didn't. Why? Why, why should I make a bad situation even worse being here? A family told me that night when they called, you know, they, they said, you know, what did you do? What happened? What, what did you do? You know, so the, they've been the pointing son, the finger at you from day one. From minute one. What is your message to the family? They have to stop blaming me. You're tired stop, of it? Stop blaming me. I, I did not harm Lori. I did not. I don't believe a word he says. Paul should be given a lie detector test. But Paul told me he took a lie detector. Paul did not take a lie detector. He took a voice stress test, which is a bull test. At this point, we have to make it clear he has not been named a suspect and or a person of interest in all of this. Right and there. at this point, your goal is... Just want answers. the truth. That's it. All we want is the truth. Investigators' latest hope? The truth may come from the iPhone found at Laurie's side in that smoldering attic. They obtained a computer program that did unlock the phone, but we've not learned what's on that phone. They'll keep it close to the vest until there's something to share. Until any new answers come to light, 
Laurie is never far from this heartbroken family's thoughts. She was the best. She was a glue that held our family together. And nothing will break her daughter's relentless fight for justice. I'm not giving up, no matter what. I know somebody did it, and somebody deserves to, to go to jail for that. Kristen says the only thing that helped her get through the loss of her mom was the birth of her daughter, who was due exactly nine months from the day her mother passed away. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.